My name is Ruben Dario Parra. I am a professor in the Department of Chemistry and I am also the director of the Office for Teaching, Learning and Assessment. I'm originally from Cali, Colombia. I'll be happy to share with you my own experiences as a first-gen uh, college student. Like any other college student, I ran into many, many challenges. In particular, the challenge of time management and the very rigorous academic standards of my institution. Uh, in particular, you know, I have to work and attend school and that brings up a challenge in terms of my time management. So uh, I remember vividly the first exam, mathematical exam, right, that I took in college and I failed that exam. That was unexpected. But then I realized that when I talked to my classmates that I was not alone. Like this was really tough for everyone. Not only first gen students, anyone was struggling, uh, which gave me a hint that, that perhaps uh, there is more to it. It's not like just being a good student in high school means you're going to perform well in college. So we began talking with my friends my new friends from college and little by little start developing this sense of belonging like, like we are all together in these efforts uh, and uh, in a way the university became my extended family little by little and my professors themselves they were very rigorous very demanding but always very eager to help you uh, and I remember this professor in math he asked me hey Ruben what was your grade? And I say, well, you know, the equivalent in the U.S. could be like a D. So I got a D. I say, oh, good. That's a good start. We can work together to make it an A. And we did. And eventually I got an A in this class. So I, I was fascinated by how rigorous the professors were. They never lowered the standards, but how eager they were to help you to, to succeed. That's one thing that I vividly remember. The other thing from the university perspective is this event that they sponsor every Friday and that was a dancing party. Like all members of the university were, were invited to attend this dancing party. Fridays from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. You just paid like a small fee to, the money goes to the student organizations. So you, have, you party every Friday, there is a party, dancing. So you end the class or whatever, a lab, in my, in my case we have labs on Fridays. 4 p.m. we went to, to the main cafeteria, that's where the, play, the dancing happened, until 10 p.m. But not only were students attending, but also faculty, professors. You could see professors there, you could see staff people there. So it was the entire university family coming together in this magnificent event every Friday that for me instilled this sense of belonging, that we are a family and that there are boundaries. Despite the fact that I see my professor dancing and having fun and everything, Monday, it was a different business, right? We are talking about academic standards and all of that. So that helped me have that uh, I guess, to navigate the, 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 my journey or, or, or my way through college. If I were to give an advice to the new generation of students, especially if you're a first generation college student, is to find ways, because there are ways, but find those ways to integrate yourself into the university system. Make it your extended family, right? make or take advantage of all the opportunities that the university has to offer. And by university I mean everyone, students, professors, the support system. Keep it positive, keep your spirit high, and always think that you can, because you can do your academic career, finish your degree, and move on, and do more wonderful things.